What's shaking, everyone? I'm back. Got another fresh video for you. I'm gonna open up a little bit of uh, mail. By a little bit, I'm by a little bit, I mean a ton. So we're just gonna crack right into it and get rolling. No idea what any of this stuff is, as usual. I'm buying a whole lot of just random whatever. And there's a little direction to it. But I've been selling so much. That's nice. Nice hair included in this one. I appreciate that. That's awesome. Um, I've been selling so much that I've been able to buy a bunch. And some of this stuff I've bought 100% to sell. Some of it's uh, for my personal collection. All right. First off, we got an 81 Don Russ, Ozzy Smith. It says 2001 Don Russ Anniversary Original. So I don't know if they repackaged these in 2001 cards or, or how that worked. I don't know exactly what that means. I've had a couple of these. So what is this? Probably his third year? Second year? No. 473 games. So it would be at least three years and change. So there you go. 71 Don Russ, Ozzy Smith, The Wizard. In his Padre days, with the Afro, still making plays, doing flips. That a boy, Ozzy. Good God, I got a lot of mail. All right, next card we have got. Oh boy, I just dropped my knife. This is not going well. I know some of you have been concerned about my thumb when I cut these open. Don't worry. I'm as careful as humanly possible. But I do appreciate you uh, worrying about me, Scott. All right, next card. There we go. 2019. Yeah, move some of this crap out of the way. 2019 Tops Archives. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Rookie card. I have been picking up quite a bit of Vlad lately because he's cheap. I mean, considering what, I don't know how to put it exactly. He's the man. How about that? He is the man. Yeah, played very well last year for a rookie. The expectations were so high that I feel like people maybe, uh, are a little bit down on Vlad, or maybe they're just not thinking about Vlad, but and this guy's <laughs> he's going to make some noise. Next card, this is awesome. This is a personal collection card, not for sale. I believe this is my first graded copy of any Brett Favre rookie. Oh, no, I do have like a Fleer update or something, some junky one. But here we go with the 91 Upper Deck. Brett Favre, rookie card, Beckett graded, BGS, 9.5 gem mint condition, which in theory is comparable to a PSA 10. That would be your gem mint condition. Awesome card. I am very glad to have this. I did not pay $35 for it either, by the way. Not even close. Yeah, that's a, that's a badass card. I'm a big Favre fan. He did a lot for my fantasy teams back in the day. All right, next up. Don't worry, thumb is out of there. Just, it's a, it's an optical illusion because of how I have the camera positioned as to how close I'm actually com coming to cut my thumb off. I promise. All right, next card is a 1986 Topps Traded Barry Bonds Rookie Card. You see, this is, uh, you know, I, I know I talk a lot of crap about the 2020 Heritage cards and how the black border doesn't matter. It can't be. Well, in 86, I actually made cards out of cardboard because I'm telling you, those 2020 archives are, they're they have some kind of coating on them or something. They're not going to grade bad at all. 
Anyhow, you can see with the black top on these 86, and these are out of a traded set too. But uh, with the black top, it does definitely lend itself to some whitening. The corners and the edges. Just that top thing. So it's it's pretty tough grade. Um, I would have to double check, but I think the numbers, uh, and PSA numbers, not SGC, but I think the numbers on the Bonds rookie, it's like 19% of the ones submitted grade out of Gem Mint 10 through PSA. So it's not an easy card to grade for sure. What we have here is an 86 Tops Traded Berry Bonds SGC graded at an 8.5 near mint condition plus. Another recurring theme that you'll see in my next, God knows how many videos, but at least my next few is that uh, I've been picking up a lot of a lot of SGC stuff. Just do the comps on the, you know, an SGC 10 versus a PSA 10. I mean, the SGCs are 60, 70% of the cost. Obviously, the more expensive the car is, card is, the bigger deal that is. But, I mean, still, my contention would be that right now, since... I don't want to totally block the fish off. Sorry, boys. I know you like to get a little screen time. Come on in. Man, some new subscribers out there that don't know you. There you go, guys. Um, I believe that there's going to be so many people. There are already so many people sending cards to SGC because they can't get them graded anywhere else. That uh, this is the time where SGC is going to become... I'm not saying they're going to surpass PSA. Or BGS for that matter. But I think they are going to stake their first claim in the modern card market. Basically is what it comes down to. Now that is packaging. Nice foam. Rubber banded it. Now the big reveal. You wasted your foam, buddy. You wasted your foam. Nah, maybe not. What we got here is a 2018 Panini Playoff Rookie Wave, gold is it a gold card. It's not numbered. I don't know. It's some uh, bullshit insert uh, Sam Darnold rookie card. That's another one of my late night. Got it for three bucks. Wasn't thinking about shipping when I got it, so it ended up costing me like seven. But hey, it's a rookie quarterback. Even though it's a an insert card, I think those are pretty cool cards. If he does anything, what I probably need to do is sell it before the season starts, before he has an opportunity. People get excited right before the season. He's in a big market. I don't know. I don't have much into it. I know that. All right, next card is a 2010 Bowman Chrome Yasmani Grandal. First Bowman Chrome card. Look at this card. It looks like the surface issues are on the slab, not the card. So that's not why it got the nine. I don't know. I'm not going to inspect it too closely. This is uh, no idea what I paid for. I got the, I ordered a lot of this stuff so long ago. But what happened is uh, it was a combined shipping deal. I purchased a card from somebody, and I was already paying shipping, and he had the Grandal sitting out there for two ninety nine or something plus shipping so I threw it on the old order I think it was an auction I don't I don't remember that anyhow I do like Grandal I think that the White Sox are going to be you know Grandal is is a hell of an offensive player okay but one of his huge strengths that people don't always think about is uh defensively I and mean, he is going to make the white Sox pitchers better that's what he does man the dude is a stud all right this is a huge card huge 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 card i'm gonna hope i don't cry when i open this or when i reveal it how about that i knew this card was in here i just didn't know where it was going to be so I hope you're sitting down, folks. This is one of my uh, Holy Grail cards, if you will. One of the cards that I've wanted to get 
since 1981. And I finally, and this is a guy I bought a lot of stuff from. Grandpa Pump is his name on uh, eBay. I don't know why I would tell you that because he doesn't have that many cards on there. So never mind. Forget that. Delete. I'm going to have to edit that out. Anyhow, what we have here is, that's right, boys and girls, the 1981 Tops Joe Montana rookie card. Graded at a 7. I do have the OC, the off-center, obviously. Top to bottom is where our issue is. That is certainly off-center. The sides are a little bit off-center, but not that bad. But this is a beaut, other than the off-center thing, but I can live with that. This will be the Montana rookie that stays in my collection until I get a better deal on a better card. I would like to get one that's not off-center. 6-2-200, Notre Dame fire, Fighting Irish, Golden Dome or Tony. Before your time, I know. Monongahela, Pennsylvania. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I feel like I definitely had this card as a kid, but by the time I was old enough to know what I was looking for and look for it, I never, never found one. I don't have a story about how I lost mine or traded it or anything like that. But I opened enough 81 tops. I don't know how I wouldn't have had one of these. You know, another thing. This is, without question, just an iconic card. Nobody can argue that. Notice on this card, there's no logo. Tops did not have the rights to the NFL logos in 81. They do use the team name, which is interesting. But yeah, there's no logos on the cards. And it doesn't take a damn thing away from the cards, does it? Although I will, I do have to admit, you know, I look at like uh, the Donruss baseball. I don't think I'm going to buy any Donruss baseball. I just don't like the way baseball cards look with uh, without the logos. So yeah, that's a uh, that's a huge card. That's that's a fish cover, is what I call that. If the card's good enough, I will cover the fish, and they will survive. These fish are not weak. I don't remember if I said it earlier in the video or not, but. As I say in every video, always when you receive cards in the mail, open your bubble mailers neatly and recycle. Use them again. Save the environment. Actually, I do it to save money more so than to save the environment, but I'm killing two birds with one stone, and I think you all should too. Make you feel good. Give you a reason to get out of bed in the morning. All right, next up, 2019 Tops Living Vlad Guerrero Jr. Rookie card. PSA 9 mint condition. Like I said earlier in the video, I have been buying quite a bit of Vlad. Again, I think he's underpriced, I guess, is, is what it comes down to. He's underpriced. This is kind of a shh, not a great, uh, not a great rookie card. Um, if anyone doesn't know, the Tops Living set, uh, it's an online thing. It goes on sale this day at this time, and it stays on sale till this day at this time. They print. Anyone can order one. Anyone can get it from Tops. But once they close the orders on it, you can no longer get the card. It's done. So there's a different print run on every one of them. I don't know what that one is, but I'm sure it's incredibly high. It's got to be. It's Vlad. Um, so, yeah, that card's not incredibly valuable. But, again, you know, I'm able to pick a lot of these up for... Pretty cheap. I've spent some time doing my homework to, to find them, but big thing is you got to watch that shipping. All right, next card. Looks like this will be the last card of the video. I'm not real sure. It looks like uh, we got two cards in here. One raw, or a little pack of raw somethings. Come on, man. You're going to make my... This is going to make my video go over the 15-minute mark. And once it goes over that mark, I can't just uh, upload it straight to uh, iCloud. We've got a Yuri Perez, Hall of Famer Tim Raines, MVP card. Jeff Hewson, Starlin Castro, and a Trey Turner, first Bowman paper. 
I bought the I bought this tray. Oh, I know it was a goofy lot. It was just a goofy ass lot that I got a good price on. Nothing right home about, but I think I think it's cool. 2014 Bowman Draft Trey Turner, the 89 Bowman design. PSA 9, mint condition. Not actually considered a rookie card, but I believe it is from his rookie year. And obviously what we have here is his first Bowman card. Which is cool, but Trey Turner's undervalued too. He's definitely undervalued. He just needs to stay healthy, man. Stay on the field. What's up with this Castro? I honestly don't know a hell of a lot about this. I don't know much about the Obac. I'm assuming it's Obac. Obac set or series. So I will have to do some homework on that. These are just basically uh, junk that he threw in. Reigns the Hall of Famer, which is cool. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you like what uh, if you like what I do, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up on the video. Leave a comment. I try to reply to all the comments. Sometimes it takes me a while to get to them, but I do generally get to them. And that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. Peace.